gender order also decides access to informal networks. You will know he, in this module what are informal networks and what is the role of gender in access to such networks. Let's first define what are networks. The individuals connect with small social groups on the basis of multiple relations. For example, they are linked with a group on the basis of kinship. They are part of their family. Second, they are related with some group because they are one of them, they are colleagues. They are part of another social group on the basis of their relationship as classmates, roommates, playmates, etc. And they meet regularly in this group. So two things. One, they are part of some social group on the basis of some relation. And number two, in that capacity, they meet their members of the group regularly. These personal groups are connected. These personal groups, they become personal networks. They are related with professional networks because in all of these personal networks, there would be members who belong to some professional organization. They may be teachers, they may be bankers, they may be engineers. So personal networks overlap with professional networks. And professional networks, they are part of larger institutions. So in this way, these networks linked with each other. And during this linkage of one network to the other network, information flows from one group to the other group. Personal information goes to professional group. Professional information comes to personal group. And information about both can go to organizational, institutional group. So a person is linked with one network. That network is linked with other networks. So this multitude of, this set of networks, this is called informal networks. And as a member of these networks, we get information, we share information about each other. This network has two results for the individual members. Number one, an individual will have access to information from other networks and other networks get information about that individual. For example, we are having dinner time talk. This is our personal network. The family members relate to different networks further. For example, if one of them works in a bank, that person is related with network of bankers. They share information with one another from these networks. Second result is, as the institutional and professional information is discussed in personal networks, this information becomes private. And what is the benefit of this private information? These private discussions influence public institutions, their plans and policies. Because you are part of professions, professions are part of institutions. You have some problem over there. For that, you need some planning, some advice, some consultation. You share it with your personal network. And that 
information is discussed and some solution is offered to you. So in this way, this private information is in benefit of the individual member. He, she gets solved his problems. In case of women, some personal information about women are more likely to be leaked by professional men. In their cases, this information doesn't remain private. Somebody takes this information to the professional domain and in professional domain, personal information may be shared with different people. They become topic of gossip. Gossip, this is what we call ghibat in Urdu. They become topic of gossip or their domestic duties sometimes. They become hurdle for them. They keep them away from networking. First of all, their personal information, when it becomes gossip, it goes to their disadvantage and uh, it may damage their reputation in eyes of the professional organizations. And second, sometimes their domestic engagements, commitments for the home, for the children, for the husband, keeps them away from networking. So uh, we conclude this module that uh, individuals, they have to become member of some network. This networking is useful for social affairs, but here gender becomes a decider who will have more access to this networking and who won't be able to get access on the basis of gender. So men have greater access to network than women.